Okay, part three. Um, <clears throat> this next one I saw with my sister after seeing Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. Uh, Rise of the Guardians. I like this movie. I mean, maybe I liked it more than I should have. Mainly because I was pissed off that I saw Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. That I had to see another movie in that theater that day. I just... I, I told myself that was not going to be the movie I was going to end my day on. So we went to see Rise of the Guardians. So yeah, maybe I do like this movie more than I should have. But uh, even if I did it, I would still say it was a good movie. Like, okay, it, I mean, now that I think about it, it is average. I mean, like, it's your basic, like, Chris Christmas movie, and it follows the underdog story where it's not very, no, he's not very famous, and then he gets the recognition he deserves near the end by being all heroic and true in heart and shit. Yeah, but anyways... Uh, Rise of the Guardians, I don't have that much to say, I mean, it is basically a Christmas story and an underdog story. You follow Jack Frost, who, actually this is one of my nitpicks, it was, uh, this spoilers, you learn that he became a guardian because he died trying to save his sister, and uh, I just, like, that was a little dark. I don't mind dark, but in this kind of movie, it just felt out of place. Like, the fact that he had to, like, die that way, it's just... And the fact that the movie never really, like, dwells on it. Like, as soon as you figure out that he died that way, it's just like... He's just like, wow, that's how I became a guardian. I died in a horrible fashion. It just felt out of place. That was the one scene that I felt that did not des belong in this movie. But anyways, the rest of the movie, um, it's mainly about Jack Frost, who is a guardian, but he feels like he's not getting the recognition he deserves. Like, like, like Santa Claus. You know Santa Claus, or the Easter Bunny, but no one knows what Jack Frost is. Um, and since, and this is actually, um, and it, uh, kind of weird, but in this world, it when you don't believe in one of the fairy tale creature things, they literally like lose power when you believe. If you stop believing, I mean it's silly it, when you think about it, but you know it's just one of the things you accept while watching. It's only after you're done watching that you find it silly. So I can't really criticize it on that. But moving on. Uh, so the main villain, so actually, actually, Jack Frost is trying to get recognition, and he gets his chance because the, oh god, my nose, because, um, this evil, the, the boogeyman, he rises to try to take over the world, and to, so, he gets chosen to join the Guardians, which is made up of Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny, and uh, Sandman. There we go. I don't know what happened to Baby New Year or like, or even Halloween. What happened to Halloween? Or hell, even like birthdays or what are the ho other holidays? Yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyways, so oh, Valentine's. What are what am I? Okay, never mind. Uh, so he gets to join the Guardians. And he gets to prove himself by proving that he could be a guardian to take down the boogeyman, but, and blah, blah, blah. Journey begins. So, this movie, it's predictable. It's predictable because you know where it's going. And, yeah, I think that's my main problem with this movie. It's just predictable. Like, uh, you don't really, you you're not really shocked by what happens. I mean, uh, I mean, the story is like, you get into it, but it's not something that you haven't seen before. Like, if, of course he gets recognition near the end, and of course they defeat the Boogeyman. I mean, it's an animated movie for kids. Of course the bad guy has to lose. 
Maybe that's my main problem with this movie. It's just, you could see it happening before. And it's not like Wreck-It Ralph, where Wreck-It Ralph was just entertaining throughout that you don't mind the nitpicks. This movie is just like, it's not entertaining throughout. I mean, there are some scenes like the dying scene that were out of place or were a little depressing. So it doesn't have that same quality that Wreck-It Ralph does where you can ignore the, uh, ignore the little nitpicks you have with this story. Uh, but other than that, it was pretty entertaining. It makes for a good Christmas movie. I'd probably give it like a B or B minus. Um, but overall, it wasn't that bad. I mean, voice acting was pretty good. A animation was pretty good. Uh, especially voice acting from uh, the guy who played uh, the Boogeyman. I forgot who played him, but... It was the same guy who voiced Let Me Just Think It. But anyways, anyways. It was a good movie overall. B or B minus. That's my thoughts on Rise of the Guardians.